Hey guys, welcome to my second video. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the really lovely comments that you gave me on my first video. Um, it made me really excited to do another one. Um, so it's taken me a week to think of what I wanted to do next and I just want to do something really simple and show you my um, everyday makeup. So pretty much just what I keep in my little makeup bag, what um, makeup I wear to work and kind of if I just need to run out of the house really quickly. So. Um, I really love this makeup bag actually, it's a perfect size and it's such a pretty colour, the purple and silver. Um, I actually got this free the other day when I bought a nail polish and a blush from Revlon. Um, and the reason I bought a nail polish and blush was um, quite a silly reason. My credit card details got stolen off the internet on Thursday and someone went on quite a nice little shopping spree with my money. So. Um, to make myself feel better, I decided I needed some new makeup. Um, I'm probably the only person in the world who gets money stolen and then decides to spend money to make themselves feel better, but um, the bank thinks I should get my money back, so fingers crossed that it all works out. And I guess it's just a reminder to be really careful with your credit card details, even though I think the site that my details got stolen from is quite a reputable site, and I think that obviously some scammers had some sort of fishing page over their page or something so um could happen to anyone but just yeah be really careful with your credit card details i've learned the hard way anyway so um back to the whole point of this video uh, i'm going to start with my foundation because that's your base and your starting point um sometimes i wear primer but generally i don't i just um put on moisturizer and then put on my foundation so the foundation that i use is clinique and this is the Clinique Super Balance. Um, I've been using this for three years, so I just absolutely love it. Um, it gives you a really nice, clean finish. Um, it just This um, colour matches my skin tone perfectly. I don't find that I get that kind of line where um, your foundation meets your natural skin if you haven't kind of um, rubbed it in enough. Um, you just kind of don't get that with this. So um, the colour I use is number 27, I think, in Alabaster. And um, on top of that, I use the um, Clinique powder. It actually comes with a little um, pad, but I usually use a foundation brush, so I'm not quite sure where the pad has gone. And um, it's a number 3 light, and it's the Almost Powder. So... Uh, this is just a really nice powder and I think it um, gives your foundation a really nice finish after you've put that on. Um, I stocked up when I went to America and these were only $22. I think I bought like four bottles because in Australia this is like $50 for a bottle and then $50 for this. So it can be quite expensive. But this is my last bottle that I have left from America. So oh, I'm going to have to buy some more soon. Um, next I'm going to show you actually this nail polish is the one I'm wearing now and this is the one that I bought the other day to get the makeup bag and um, it's a Revlon Top Speed nail polish and the colour is Stormy. Um, I really love grey nail polish especially in winter. I think it's just a really nice classic look um, and I'd got manicures before with a silver nail polish but I didn't have my own so I think that little I was justified in the circumstances. Um, next is my lipstick and I am such a lipstick girl. I just, I think that's what really finishes off a look or gives it that little bit of fun um, if I'm wearing just a really plain look for work. Um, I usually go a little bit more out there with my lipstick. So the one I'm wearing at the moment is Max Factor. And this is my favourite lipstick, and I think Max Factor just does really nice lipstick. So, this is the colour. I'm not sure if my camera is actually going to focus on that, but hopefully it does. But I'm wearing it right now, so if that didn't focus. Um, and it's just a really pretty ready pink colour, and I just think it's really pretty and fun, and that's why I wear it. And it lasts for a really long time, so a lot of um, Max Factor lipsticks really seem to last the distance, so that's why I buy them. And they're not expensive, I think they're... $20 and I think I actually got this one on special for $10 so for $10 to be my favorite lipstick it's going pretty well um, next is my blush and this is pretty much the blush I wear every day um, 
it's just a really light sorry I should open it it's a kind of light pinky rosy color and um, that's the kind of color I really like wearing is kind of more pinks than reds and this is just a really pretty easy blush ten dollars um, and yeah I nearly wear it every day um, next oh, I should have shown you this after the lipstick actually this is my new favorite lip balm it's Nivea milk and honey um, I usually use pore pore cream but the other day um, I didn't have any and my lips were really dry so I quickly just ran into the shops and um, got this one I, won't, I don't think there's any point showing you that but it just comes out clear on your lips but it's really moisturizing and really hydrating and it lasts for a really long time like sometimes you put on lip balms and your lips just kind of suck in all the moisture straight away but this kind of kept my lips moisturized and hydrated for a really long time so I really recommend that and I think it was like three or four dollars so quite cheap um, next I'll show you my eyeliner and mascara because they're both from Maybelline um, first is my mascara and it's the Colosseum Express waterproof mascara um, my sister recommended this to me because she's a bit of a mascara buff that's her thing and this really gives you a lot of volume um, which I need because I have quite thin eyelashes I don't know if it gives as much length as I would like um, but it does give you a lot of volume but I think I'm actually going to try something different once this runs out just so that I can try and get a bit more length but I also think I need to start curling my eyelashes as well but that might help as well but at the moment I just use a mascara so I think I'll try something new but this is good if you want volume I definitely recommend this um, next is the eyeliner and it's the Maybelline um, masterpiece precision eyeliner and this is the first um, liquid eyeliner that I've ever owned and it's just so easy to use and I just love it it gives such a nice finish rather than a um, pencil I mean I think pencils well I don't know pencils are easier to use I don't know but I've had no problems with this um, and I really love the finish so I definitely recommend that and I'll definitely be trying out more liquid eyeliners in the future it's so funny like at the start of the year I wasn't really into makeup at all and then I started watching lots of makeup YouTube videos and following lots of blogs that were about makeup so now I'm a little bit more into it and want to try new things so that's why I actually even got a liquid eyeliner um, anyway, last thing, this is a pretty quick video because my basic makeup is really quite simple because I don't like getting up too early in the morning so I really need something I can just throw on and run out the door but still feel good about. Um, this is the Marinese eyeshadow palette. Um, my friend got this in a glossy box I think or a lust habit box actually and she already had a um, palette that had these colours in it, sorry, you might be able to see it better up there. Um, so it's really just a white and a light purple and a dark purple and the name of it is Baroque Pearls and I've never actually heard of this brand before but I really like these colours I think they um, complement the colour of my eyes and what I do is I kind of put the white all the way up to my eyebrows then the purple the light purple kind of just to the crease and then I just put a little bit of the dark purple in the outside corners and that's kind of my simple run out the door eyeshadow oh and I have one more thing to show you which doesn't actually fit in my makeup bag but um, I thought this is kind of my favorite perfume it's Dolce and Gabbana Rose the one um, and it's pretty much the one I put on every day it's just a really nice um, girly sweet smell I don't know I think it's a really romantic smell I mean I don't know what classifies as a romantic smell but if there is a smell for romance I think it's this rose the one and I just really love it I have a little travel one as well which I keep in my desk at work so that's really handy um, so I would love to hear what your guys everyday makeup is if you have any makeup recommendations for me to try out because I'm kind of going through a phase where I like trying out new things especially lipsticks because I love lipsticks and um, Hopefully I can share some of the new stuff that I have bought recently with you guys in a new video. But I thought this was a good start just to show you what I do basic day to day. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like my videos, I would love you to subscribe. And if you have a YouTube channel, please leave a link below so that I can check it out. Anyway, hope you're having a great weekend. See you.